Hi everyone, this is Jeff Bradbury from TeacherCast.net, and today we're going to look at how to set up a simple website using the program called Sandbox. Many of us these days want to set up a website for our classes, but really don't know how. Sandbox is a simple site, it's easy to use, it's expandable, and there's a lot of possibilities that are going to make your website stand out and be enjoyable for not only you to work with, but your students to work from. Sandbox can be found online, so I'm going to open up my Safari, and Sandbox can be found at Corellia.com forward slash Sandbox. Sandbox 2 is a really neat and simple web editor. Some people might relate it to iWeb with just a little bit more features. Sandbox can be downloaded for free, and you have 30 days to try it out. And I think once you'll try it out, you'll find that there's just no substitution for it. It's really simple and it's really easy. All of my websites that you see on TeacherCast are done on Sandbox and I couldn't be happier with everything that goes on with them. One of the words that we're going to talk about with Sandbox is WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get. The nice part about Sandbox is you do not have to do any coding. Many websites that you see require some rigorous HTML code written by a web developer. With Sandbox, you just don't need to know how to do this stuff, and it's very simple to do. When you open up Sandbox, you're going to see this rectangular square. You can create a new site. You can open an existing site. Or, over on the right side, you can see a list of the websites that I was working on and it keeps task of the latest six sites for you so you don't have to go and open up different sites. It's that simple. Okay, so we're going to create a new site by clicking on the button. Now the first thing that you're going to see is the design tab and Sandbox comes packaged with many designs. Some of them are simple some of them are pretty artistic, but I think there's a design out there that's going to fit your needs. And let's see. I think today I'm going to choose this design here. It's called Imagine. I'm going to double click on that. And that opens up the Sandbox program. Now let's talk a little bit about the Sandbox interface. Up here on the left, we have our file tabs, and this is where all of our pages and images are going to be held. This here is the canvas. This is actually where we're going to be designing our website. Up here we have our menu buttons, and we'll talk about that in a second. At the bottom here, we have some technical information that is really streamlined and really simple. It gives our URL or our web address, our window title, and some meta descriptions. Now, we'll get into all of that at a later time, but just keep in mind Sandbox will set most of this up for you. Let's look at our menu buttons first. Over here on the left, we have New. When we click on New, we can add pages to our sites. Sandbox comes preloaded with a variety of page templates. You can start an empty page with just text on it and a sidebar. We can do an empty page without a sidebar. We can make a page featuring some photos or videos with a sidebar and without a sidebar. We can create a blog or a podcast page. We can create a photo album. And then these three here, this accordion, scroll list, tabs, these are three plugins that I've purchased for Sandbox. We'll talk about purchasing extras at a later time. The next one down the list is a contact form, a site map, and then it gives you the opportunity to include an external link or we can set up a page 
with some raw HTML if you know how to use that. But basically, I leave that one alone. Coming up over here on the designs. Okay, so here we are on the design panel. And this is just like the same panel that we found before we opened up Sandbox. We can choose to change the design if we want. Uh, let's say that I want to change it to a cathedral design. Uh, you'll see here everything automatically changes for me. It's just that simple. Go back to our design. And now some of these, like this one here, is called Appleseed. As I run my mouse through it, you'll see the colors change. This is red, this is blue, this is green. Or I can click on the three variations and it gives me my three options. So let's see what Appleseed Brown looks like. Maybe I like Appleseed Blue. Okay, we'll stick with this just for a moment. The Objects button Objects are little inserts that we can use to enhance our page. We have a text box. We can do a block quote. A media placeholder. This you would insert if you don't quite yet have a picture, but you want to allow for a picture or a movie or a sound to be on your website. Indexes. We can talk about at a later date. If you just want to do some raw HTML codes, for instance, if you want to embed a Facebook graphic or a Twitter feed, you can use the raw HTML object. If you want to set up a shopping cart, you have a drop down for Amazon, a contact form, delicious bookmarks, RSS feeds. It integrates well with Facebook, Flickr. You can have people tell if you're online. Going down here a little bit more, you have a page counter, an RSS badge, which we'll definitely get into at a later movie. Again, these accordions and media, this is all add-ons that we'll talk about. If you're publishing movies to a site like Vimeo or YouTube, it also has objects for that. And we'll get into all of these at a later date. Moving to our left, we have a button that says create a link. And really, when we're writing our text, if we want to have a specific line of text or a word via link, we can highlight that and then we can create a link by hitting this button. Further to the right, we have set up host and publish. Now, once you get your website designed, you're going to need to host it somewhere. And that can be a place like MobileMe or any number of hosting sites that you may find both free and for paid services. And we'll talk about this also at a later date. Now, once you set up your hosting, hitting the publish button is very, very easy to do. And Sandvox will automatically publish all of your changes, all of your additions to your website, and you don't have to worry about a single thing. Continuing to the right, we have our inspector. Now when we click on the inspector tool, it brings up our inspector menu, and we have a few tabs here to talk about. We have the document menu, where we can set up everything that we want to know about this whole entire website. We have the page inspector, where it's just going to talk about the specific page that we're on. We have object placements. Let's say we've inserted a picture or a graphic. We're going to use the object placement menu to create some really neat designs and wraparound effects. The metrics is going to help us size our graphics out. The links tool is where we're going to run our hyperlinks to both our websites and to our objects. And then finally down here we have our object menu. Now the object menu is going to be different for each object that we put in. If we're working with a contact form, the object menu will change accordingly to that contact menu. And we'll talk a little bit more about that all in later dates. So let's exit out of our inspector by clicking on the X. 
our media is exactly what you would think it would be. It's where we're going to insert our images, our audio, our movies, and our links. So that's our media. And then we have our color menu, and we have our font menu, where we can change all of our fonts, our typefaces, and the size of our fonts. So that's Sandbox 2 in a nutshell. On our next video, we're going to talk about creating pages and setting up our basic website. Thanks for viewing today, folks. This has been a TeacherCast screencast.